Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing this makeup tutorial inspired by Desi Perkins. She's one of my favorite YouTubers here on YouTube and I've always had this photo saved on my phone and I love this makeup look so much. So I want to go ahead and recreate it for you guys today because I don't believe she has a tutorial on it. So let's go ahead and get started. So as always, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes using the Urban Decay Potion Primer in Original. And then going in with Scotch Tape, I'm going to rip off two pieces and put them on the back of my hand to get the stickiness off and then line it up with my lower lash line. We're going to keep this tape on during the duration of this makeup tutorial. Make sure that both sides are even. Today I'm going to be using MAC eyeshadow. So first I'm going to take the shade Blanc Type and as always putting it underneath my brow bone as my brow bone highlight and then start to blend it into the rest of the eye. Then after that, going in with the shade Soft brown with this Morphe fluffy brush. I'm going to go ahead and apply this right into the crease as the transition shade going from outer corner to inner corner and blending up towards the brow bone. Then going in with the shade Texture by MAC on my Sigma E25 brush, I'm going to go ahead and apply this right into the crease and blend this up as well. When it comes to smoky looks like this, I really like to layer on the colors and layer on the pigments so that in the end it all looks really nice layered and blended. So going back in with my big fluffy brush, just going to go ahead and blend all of that out as always. After that, I'm then going to go in with the MAC shade Swiss Chocolate and I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact thing like I did with Texture, mainly kind of putting this low. I don't want to bring it up way too high, but I do want to bring it just kind of where texture was and just go ahead and blend it all over the crease just to have, have definition to this look. And then as always, going back with my big fluffy brush and blend it out. Then with my favorite MAC shadow, Embark, I'm going to go in using the same blending brush we've been using this whole time. And now I'm using the shade to go in and define my crease. So I really love using this color. Like I said, it's probably one of my favorite MAC shadows. I use it pretty much on a weekly basis. Basis. And I'm just going in from outer corner to inner corner of my eye and just blending it back and forth. And like I said, this will give definition to the eye look and just going ahead and blend, 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 blend one more time, blend it all out. Now for the star of the show, the blue color I'm using is this one by Makeup Geek and it is in the shade Boo Berry. I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over the lid, making sure you really pack that on. You're going to kind of have to go over a couple times with this kind of a shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over the lid and then going back in with my Sigma E25 blending brush with no additional product on it. Just going to go back and forth and blend the blue into the rest of the crease colors. Now when you use a color like a blue, you are going to get rid of some of the colors you can see on my left eye, but we will go back in there and touch up that color in a little bit. So now going in with my Sigma E45 brush, I'm going to take MAC uh, Carbon and I'm going to go ahead and just deepen up this outer corner a little bit more, kind of just deepening the outer V of my eye and just blending that in. And then going back in with my blending brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend that black into the rest of the eye. And like I said before, with all of the blending, the blue shade kind of came off. So going back in with Blueberry, I'm going to go ahead and just apply this right to the lid. Just make sure you don't go too much because I'm not going to go ahead and blend it out. I just wanted to go ahead and reapply this color so it wasn't so faded being that we blended it like crazy. So now I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm using my Sigma Gel Liner in Wicked. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Sigma E06 brush. I am going to be doing my gel liner like always, keeping the tape down because it is easy. You know, might as well since we have the tape down already. So I'm going to go ahead and do my winged liner as always. I do have a winged liner tutorial that I do have linked down below for you guys. Then going in with my Galactic Mascara in Mink Black. Any mascara will do. And then for false lashes today, I'm going to be using these ones by Blinking Butte. And these are in the style Samantha, which are so, so, so gorgeous. Definitely one of my favorite styles by Blinking Butte. So as always, applying them to the eyes. And off camera, I went ahead and applied the other lash. So now for the face, I'm going in with my Smashbox Primer Water. Make sure you cover up your lashes when you do this so you don't ruin them and then for pore minimizing I'm going in with the Bobbi Brown skin smoothing pore perfecter primer and as you can see I do like a little flower on the face how cute so I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with my hands as always and then to conceal the red spots on my face going in with the Becca backlight targeted corrector and this is in the green shade which is pistachio for foundation I'm going in with my NARS all day luminous foundation and my cover FX custom cover drops just to make them a little bit darker and as you can see it does look a little bit crazy I will say when I put this on I'm like oh geez I can only imagine what this looks like on camera so don't worry as you'll see at the end of the video it all blends 
bronze together. So now going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in medium, I'm going to take Warm Coral and put that in for the dark circles because my dark circles need to be concealed like no other. For brows, I'm going in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in soft brown and then for powder to fill them in, I'm using the soft brown brow powder. Next, we're going to go ahead with our concealer. I'm using my MAC Pro Longer Concealer in NW20 and apply this with my fingers. I kind of been loving doing the Pro Longer with my fingers because I feel like the concealer brushes that I use, it kind of soaks up a lot of the product, so that's why I'm using my fingers and then back with my foundation brush, just blending it into the rest of my face. Then going in with my MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter Pen in Light Boost, I'm going to put that on the forehead, center of the nose, the chin, and also a little bit under the eyes just to brighten it up because I like to have kind of a nice highlighted yellow base under the eyes and I just really like to have that highlighted look. And as always, going back in with my foundation brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend all of this out into my foundation. For contour, I'm going to do my Giorgio Armani Maestro Summer Drops in 100 with my Sephora 57 brush. Again, contouring the places that you usually contour, which are the cheeks, the forehead, the chin, and the sides of the nose. And as always, going back in with that same foundation brush that I've been using this whole time, I'm going to go ahead and blend out my contour into the rest of my foundation. And make sure you don't forget to blend out your nose contour. I feel like I've been almost forgetting to do that recently, and I catch myself at the last minute, so don't forget to do that. So now, I'm going to go ahead and set the under eyes with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder with my Sigma F35 brush. I'm going to set the under eyes, the smile lines, the forehead, the nose, the chin, as well as the rest of the face, just dusting this on every other place. <laughs> And then to go ahead and set the contour, I'm using my Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette with my Sigma Contour Brush. And I'm going to go ahead and put this all over the contour areas just to deepen them up with the powders. Then to go ahead back to the eyes, I'm going in with MAC Gesso with this Morphe brush. And I'm putting this in the inner corner. Desi had a really intense white inner corner, so Gesso is my favorite white eyeshadow when it comes to doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this right into the inner corner, kind of in like a V shape. She had it going from, you know, the inner corner of her eye and then blend ending it into really the lower lash line, so that's what I'm doing there. Going back with texture, I'm going with my pencil brush, and I'm going to go ahead and blend this on the lower lash line, making sure to kind of stop when you get to that white because you don't want to blend it into the white. I'm um, just going back and forth, blending it out. And then taking MAC Embark, which again, my favorite eyeshadow ever on that same pencil brush, I'm going to go ahead and deepen the lower lash line, again going from outer corner right till you get to that white and going back and forth and really making sure that it is blended out. Then after that, we're going to go ahead and blend with a blending brush. This one's clean. I just wanted to make sure it was really, really blended. I felt like it was kind of a harsh line, so that's why I'm going in with a clean blending brush. So now going in with my Sigma E65 brush and MAC Carbon. As you'll see in a second, my hair will not be in a ponytail because as you could see, kind of from the end of the video, the sun was catching up to me. So I had to wait about an hour and a half and get back to filming. So going in with Carbon, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the lower lash line because she did have a darker lower lash line. And as always, when it comes to smoky looks, I, I always love to blend and layer the colors together. So that's why I went in with Texture, Embark, and now Carbon. So applying this to the lower lash line and then going back in with my pencil brush as always blending all of those colors out going back in with MAC gesso I'm just adding a little bit more white and bringing it down slightly because of the lower lash line that I did I saw that Desi's was a little bit more lower so that's why I went in with the white and added some more so now I'm switching back to this other angled brush I felt like it was more pinched and I really wanted to have that pinched um, brush for that inner corner to make sure that the line was precise now to go ahead and start the inner corner wing, taking MAC Carbon, I'm going to go from the end of my lower lash line and just bring it inward. You can make it parallel to your natural tear duct or you can just make any kind of line you want. I was just kind of lining it up to the end of the white that I had on my inner corner. But then when it comes to the other eye, you kind of want to go back and forth and look at your other eye because of course you want to make them very similar and identical. 
So again, going from the end of the lower lash line line and then just going in to the inner corner, just making that inner wing. You can go ahead and make it a little bit darker if you want. I also want to make sure that kind of gradient into the rest of the lower lash line. So of course the end of the wing is gonna be thinner and then I just wanted to go ahead and make it a little bit thicker as it was going into my lower lash line. So for the liner, I'm going in with a blue liner. This is by Ardency In. This is their Modster liner in dark blue, which is definitely one of my favorite liners. I love Ardency In eyeliners. And then for the lower lash line mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with MAC Extended Play Giga Black Mascara and put that on the lower lashes as always. For blush, I'm going in with Sigma Blush. This is in Pet Name. This is their Aura Brush. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I freaking love these Aura Brushes, like obsessed, seriously, not even kidding. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the cheeks, the apples of the cheeks as well, using my Sigma F10 Blush Brush. For highlight, I'm using my Tried and True Becca Champagne pop with my Morphe M501 brush and applying this to the tops of the cheeks, the nose, the chin, and the cupid's bow. For lips, I'm going to go in with the NYX Lip Liner Retractable Pencil. This is in the shade Vanilla Sky, which is one of my favorite nude um, lip liners, especially from the drugstore. So of course, lining my lips with that. And then after that, I wanted to keep the lips simple. Didn't want to use like a liquid lipstick or anything. So I'm going in with the Gerard Cosmetics Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Nude, I believe, which is like one of the best nude lip glosses ever. So then after that, your look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and also make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Picture that with a Kodak, or better yet, go to Times Square, take a picture of me with a Kodak.